Where did you grow up in one I grew up on, on East Cool Street. It was uh, the social district, there's the North District, there's a the social district. And the social district was very busy, very lively. And uh, we lived in a big six family. On the street I lived on, it was mostly all family, it's like maybe six tenement houses. I always had six tenements. Yeah. Three on each side. That's all family. My mother and her, her two brothers lived downstairs. I mean, you never lacked anybody to play with. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you you didn't have a, a bedroom to yourself, I imagine. Oh, no. I slept in the middle. That's why I'm, I'm short. You slept in the middle of what? My two sisters. In the same bed? What? <laughs> Till I was married. Till you, <laughs> till you were married? Uh, yeah. <laughs> One was noisy and Alice was noisy like heck. And Irene was strict like heck, because she was the oldest. And, and when we wanted to turn over, we'd say, shift, and we'd all turn over. So what was that like, sleeping in, in the same bed? It was fun, but it was, you know, it was noisy, because uh, my sister and I liked to talk and laugh, and my sister Irene wanted to sleep and be quiet, and she was the boss, and my brothers were in the other room, and they'd throw their shoe at, at the daughter for us to shut up. Well, when did you meet Pepe? I met him when I was in, in, in high school, going the first year of high school. How did you meet him? I met, I met him at a, a carnival, the carnival that they just had every year there. And where is that? Where is the carnival? On Park Avenue. Park Avenue. Yeah. But we went out through the, uh, my high school, and then he, he, he joined the forces in my senior year, so that was four years then we had junior high. So it was your senior year when World Three War II years. started? Three, yeah, I was 16. So th then he was gone for at least five years. Right. Yeah, when he come back, he proposed, yeah. And what was that like? Well, how did he do it? I don't know. I think I, I think we had gone to visit his, his older brother in Connecticut. He was married and it seems to me that that's where we went. Because I remember, and, and we went on, on a Ferris wheel and all that, there, you know, so. And he I did, had proposed on the Ferris so wheel. So he, he got back from the war, he had proposed to you, and then he decided, he never built a house before, but he decided. No, he never built a house. He decided that he no. was going to build a house in one socket from scratch. Yeah, so. we built over here to be near the mill. He hard in the mill, you know. He worked, he worked a night shift and... Uh, all his his parents worked in the mill. Well, everybody in the town that did that didn't go to school worked in mills, and then the mills went south. That's when he joined the police force. My mother more or less talked him into that because one day he was talking to her and he, he you know about looking for 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 work. You know he didn't know what he was gonna do, and and she says, well, she says, yeah. wouldn't you like to be a policeman? But he did, he liked it, and from then on, he went one, one promotion to another promotion to another. Every time there was a promotion, he was eligible to, to, to take the exam, he would be on the list, you know, for the jobs, because it was good for five years or whatever it is. So he went all, all the way up to command him. He gets a call one day that they, they told him, your wife called, there was water all over the place. He thought my water had broken because I was pregnant. <laughs> he come home from all excited. <laughs> I said, "No, there's a leak." In... <laughs> there was a leak, and he thought he thought my my water had broken. They told me, he "says Your wife called, and she said there was water all over." The place. <laughs> I think he never got over that. <laughs> Luke's gonna kill. Oh, God. Well, my mother was very quiet. She wouldn't have said boo, you know what I mean? She slept here and uh, she lived here till, till in her 80s, I would say, yeah. I was wrapping a gift next to her. I think I was wrapping her gift because she was sick. She was sick then, so she was in bed. And uh, yeah, she died Christmas Eve. And uh, so the next morning, you know, I. The, the kids, Jeannie and Susie, still believe in Santa Claus, and so we shut the door, and they, they didn't realize she wasn't there, you know? Yeah, and how did you, did, did you discover that she was dead? Were you the one? We had to tell them after, you did, know? But did you discover that your mother was dead? Yeah, yeah, well, I she wasn't breathing when I 
I was sitting there, you know, wrapping a gift and talking to her and then I couldn't hear her breathe or anything. So, uh, but she was dead. I mean, they, I don't know, my, Midas, I guess, got somebody to come and whatever, but she had died Yeah, Christmas Eve, yeah. I was born in the same house that I got married in. Never moved, I mean, uh, and then when I got married, this is the house we lived in after it was built. Why, I, I, I don't want to go into a home. <laughs> I'm trying my best to stay put, but if I, you know, today that's normal. I mean, they put, the parents go into a home. In our days, you didn't do that. The parents went with the kids. I wouldn't be able, if I couldn't take care of, of myself, which will happen pretty soon because, you know, eventually I'm slowing down, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm slowing down. But anyways, I said, well, you know, I, I, I want to die before I have to go into a home. That's how much I love my home.